Rescuers are responding to cries for help. But in eastern Ghouta, nowhere is safe. In moments of panic, they search for children who disappeared in the debris. The children call for their father. The civil defense worker says they must hurry to the basement. Activists accuse the Syrian government in Russia for the airstrikes and shelling. The suburb of Syria's capital, Damascus, has been bombarded especially hard for the last week. At night, the only light these days is from the fires which start after the bombings. These children prayed in the dark in an underground shelter. One of them wants the world to feel their pain. No food, no water. Every day we sleep on the floor. My back hurts. We can't bring a pillow from our house. If we get out, we'll get hit. Don't you know that? Imagine your children being bombed. What do you want me to say? We ask you, the world, for safety. The floors are damp, the air is humid, and it's cold underground. There are few basements in Ghouta, home to nearly 400,000 people. This is corn. Our children didn't eat for two days. We can't find anything else. We'll feed them this as a meal. God help us. Syrians living in cities abroad have protested in small gatherings. They reject that the fight in eastern Ghouta is against what the government calls terrorists. But the Syrian government, Iran and Russia say the civilian deaths in Ghouta are fabricated propaganda. Since the United Nations Security Council agreed to a 30-day ceasefire in Syria, aid workers say they are ready to take in the aid. But people inside Ghouta are scared fearful of what has happened in the past in other areas might happen here again where the government tries to take as much area as possible before the implementation phase kicks in. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Gaziantep on the Turkey-Syria border.